All right, let's look at this problem. Even though this problem is the hardest problem we will do, I really should put it later at the end of this section. But um, but you know, let's let's go through all these problems. Uh, solve for what's asking for. So we want to determine the reactions at the collar at at A and the pin at C. The collar is a fixed collar or fits over a smooth rod. Uh, but you see, it's not a pinned collar; it's a fixed collar right there. Rod AB is fixed and connected to the collar. All right, so my first instinct is to look at the whole free body diagram. The whole free body diagram, I would have a CX, I would have a CY, at B would be internal, and then this is a fixed collar. So uh, yes, there might be some, um, it's not restricting it up down, so there's no forces up down, but it is restricting it perpendicular, so I'll call this F A. Uh, if the this rod is 45 degrees from horizontal, this one is technically 45 degrees from vertical, but you can't go wrong with 45 degrees. Uh, but it also has a uh, an, a moment here, right? A collar, a fixed collar, because it is restricting the rotation. Uh, so there is a reaction moment right there. So if I look at the whole free body diagram. Whole free body diagram, I'd have four unknowns. Uh, but So then may, maybe I should look at just bar AB. But if, if I look at bar AB, I'd have FA, MA, I'd have a BX and a BY. Uh, I would also have four unknowns. All right, so maybe let's go to bar BC. Maybe I can look at bar BC. Bar BC is almost a two-force member. It's pinned and pinned at both sides. Why is it not a two-force member? Because of this 600 Newton force right there. Uh, but with that one, I also have four unknowns. So man, I, I, I like to find things that have three unknowns because I have three equations. What can I do? What can I do? Well, I have three equations... Three equations for this one, three equations for this one, three equations for this one. Um, some of these unknowns overlap, right? This BX and BY overlap. So, so if for this whole free body diagram, I've got MA, FA, CX, and CY. For bar AB, I've got MA, FA, BX, and BY. For bar BC, I've got BX, BY, CX, and see why I really only have six unknowns. I really only have six unknowns. And so I can choose two free body diagrams. Maybe this one and this one, or maybe this one and this one, or this one and this one. I can choose two free body diagrams. I have six unknowns and six equations. Okay, but anyway, if you cannot find a place that only has three unknowns, then you've just got to start with one that has four unknowns, write out the equations and jump to something else, write out its equations, maybe chip away, maybe you can start summing somewhere and solve uh, for something. Okay, so I don't think there is one uh, place that is easier than the other. I'm just going to start. I'm going to choose bar AB. Bar AB. Let's look at its free body diagram for bar AB. I've got this force A that is 45 degrees from vertical. I've got this MA. I've got 750. And then I've got BX and BY, which I, I haven't solved for yet. So... Um, so I can draw them any direction that we want. So I'm going to draw them that way. These dimensions, 1.25 meters here to here, 1.25 meters here to here. Axes. All right, I think that's a good free body diagram. I think I'm ready to write my equation. So my equations would be summing the forces in the x direction. Fa sine 45 plus Bx equals 0. Summing the forces in the y direction. Fa cosine 45 minus 750 plus By equals zero. Okay, still can't solve, can't do anything. Summing the moments. I can sum the moments about A, I can sum the moments about B. 
Um, I don't I don't know which would be easier. I think either one of those I'm going to have two unknowns. I'm in some moments about A. If A goes straight through it, I've got M A. I drew it positive counterclockwise. I've got 750 acting 1.25. Um, that would actually be negative, wouldn't it? Negative. All right. Clockwise. And then BX will go straight through it, but BY is acting 2.5 away, creating a positive equals zero. So, I mean, that that's, that's as far as I can go right there. I've got three equations. And I've got four unknowns, and I can't really solve much of anything. Sometimes, even if you have four unknowns, sometimes if you choose a point that three out of the four unknowns go through that point, you can sum the moments about that point, and you can solve for one thing. Can't even do that one with this one. So, all right, I, that's as much as I can do. Let me jump to another free body diagram. So now I'm going to jump to bar BC. So here's... Bar BC. All right, since I've already drawn BX and BY, even though I haven't solved for them, I've written them in these equations. I'm probably going to come back to these equations. I need to stay consistent. I need to stay consistent. And so here I'm going to draw the BX that way. I'm going to draw the BY that way. I'm, I'm not actually positive if, I'm not sure if I've got them the correct direction. Um, if my answer comes out negative, then I was wrong. But I need to stay consistent need to stay consistent right here. Whoop, oops, 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 sorry. This is the force, this is the force right here at B, Y, and B, X. I've got this 600 Newton force, and I've got C, X, and C, Y. Since I haven't drawn C, X, and C, Y before, I can draw them any direction that I want. All right, so now let me sum the forces in the X direction. CX minus BX, and then, all right, this 600 Newton force, I really should, all right, this bar is 30 degrees from horizontal. So this 600 is 30 degrees from vertical. This is 30 degrees right here. Um, the length right there is one, one, one meter, one meter. All right, so here we go. What would the x component would be? It wouldn't be cosine 30. It would be 600 sine 30. 600 sine 30 equals 0. And then some of the forces in the y direction. Negative by plus cy minus 600 cosine 30 equals 0. And then finally, some of the moments. I can sum the moments about any point I want. Um... Probably going to do it either about point C or about point B. Now, looking ahead, or maybe I don't want to look ahead, but sometimes there will be easier ones than others. Right here, I've got these equations that have BX and BY right here. Um, I think I want an equation that actually has BX and BY. I'm going to sum the moments about C. CX goes straight through it. CY goes straight through it. Now here, don't overcomplicate 600. Most, some of you might want to break it into its two components to find each of those components um, moment armed. Uh, let's go back to when we very first learned moments. Moments is force times perpendicular distance. This 600, its perpendicular distance is 1. This is just 600 times 1 creating a positive moment. You would get the same answer, but you do a lot more work if you did 600 cosine 30 times 1 um, cosine 30 and then 600 sine 30 times 1 sine 30. You still would get 600. All right. And then, but now BX and BY, yes, you do need to really look at its uh, moment arm. So this BX right here, it that distance would be 2 sine 30. And that would be a negative moment. And then the BY, its perpendicular distance would be 2 cosine 30. And it would be a positive moment. Set that equal to 0. So now I have 6 equations with 6 unknowns. Easy, right? 6 equations, 6 unknowns. Technically, you should be able to solve for it. This one's a little bit hard, but 
Well, first thing I try to find is one equation with only one unknown. We don't have that here. But then usually you can find two equations with two unknowns. I don't really have that here. I don't think I have two equations that only have two unknowns. Next, three equations with three unknowns. And I think that's what I've got here. What? Sorry, let me... I've got that equation, I've got that equation, and I've got this equation. So I'm going to write bx is negative fa sine 45, and I'm going to plug that in down yeah, here. And then I've got by, by, this is going to get ugly, by is negative fa cosine 45 plus 750, and I'm going to plug that in down there. And then I can solve for FA. Once I solve for FA, I can solve for BX and BY and then MA and then everything else. Right. Once you solve for one, you've got, the, the, you've, got, you've got it worked out. All right. So that was tough. All right. You, I wouldn't expect you to do that on a test, but definitely on a homework problem, you can do that. What happens here? What happens here is first I'll get FA as 3669 newtons. Then I would plug that back in up here, and I would get BX is negative 2594 newtons. So BX is 2594 newtons, and I want you to go up and everywhere draw it the correct direction. So here it was actually pointed to the right, and here it was actually pointed to the left. Okay? All right, but then, so here's BX is 2594, but then when I go and plug this in to an equation that I've already written, I would plug in that negative 2594 right here, and so minus, neg minus negative 29, uh, 2594, uh, and then I've got this equation, then I would solve for CX and so forth. And so I would get CX is negative 2894. All right, so CX 2894 newtons. Go back and draw it the correct direction. Here, it was right there. Everywhere that you've drawn it, go back and draw it the correct direction. And when you're going backwards to an equation you've already written, plug in the negative value. If you're going forwards, now you know it is 2894 and you know the correct direction. All right, the rest of these, I've got BY, negative 1844. So BY, 1844 newtons, and it is actually that way and that way. And I've got CY is, man, negative 1324. I just chose the wrong direction for all of these CY, 1324 newtons. Now, you can choose whatever direction you want to to begin with. So you might have chosen the correct direction to begin with, and so you wouldn't have any negatives. You would just all your answers would have been coming out positive, but you would have still we still would have gotten the same our free body diagrams would look the same if you had kind of chosen those correct to begin with. All right. If your answer comes out negative, go back to your free body diagram and draw the correct direction. And then I've got MA, I think the one thing that I did choose correctly, 5548 newton meters. And so I'm looking for this, 5548, and then I'm going back and looking at your free body diagram to make sure it was counterclockwise right there. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. But you try to find something that, with three unknowns. If you can't find something with three unknowns, then you just have to chug along with one with four unknowns, another with four unknowns, but two of the unknowns overlap, so it's really only six unknowns. You have six equations. Got to find a way to solve those six equations, all right?